A virus so bad you won't ever drink water again? A virus that makes you a sex addict? Or another one that has made Wolf dance like they're on a New Year bash? Today, Invisible Monsters brings you guys 10 real-life cases of body snatching. First up, we have this real-life drama that sees a cockroach getting a deadly surprise. Yes, one minute it's minding its own business, and the next, it's getting brain-stabbed by the emerald cockroach wasp. And guess what? This 2010 study in the journal Plus One revealed that the wasp's venom doesn't paralyze the roach, but leaves it helpless. Yes, helpless. Like a sci-fi villain. The wasp plants an egg in the roach's belly. The larva hatches and munches on the still alive but zombified cockroach from the inside out. And a month later, the wasp flies off, leaving a rotting roach carcass in its wake. And you guys would be shocked to know that roaches are not the only victim of these deadly wasps. Meet Hymenoepimicus agriophaga, the parasite wasp that takes mind control to a whole new level with its eight-legged victims. The wasp paralyzes and then lays an egg in its abdomen. As the egg hatches, the larva starts slurping up the spider's blood while the spider goes about its day like nothing's wrong. Yep, this part sounds pretty familiar, but here comes the real twist. The larva injects a chemical that makes the spider weave a special web and then freeze right in the center. The larva kills and devours it, building a snug cocoon in the web to chill until it emerges as an adult wasp. Jesus, this creepy. But I bet it's not as creepy as the next one. Ophiocardiceps is a freaky fungi group that is insects dancing to their chorus. Their spores land on an unsuspecting insect and grow, turning the bug into their zombie chauffeur. The fungus then takes over the insect's mind, directing it to a cozy spot with the right conditions for fungal growth. And boom! The fungus sprouts stalks out of the poor bug's body and launches spores to infect new victims. Nah, this is nasty. But this fungus has nothing on the rabies virus, who can control minds like none other. It turns mammals into aggressive biters, ready to chomp on others, spreading the virus through their saliva. The virus can even make its host terrified of water, keeping them from drinking, which prevents the dilution of the virus in their saliva, making it easier to spread. Jeez! It looks like the virus has a sneaky master plan to take over the world, one bite at a time. Well, something similar is being done by this barnacle, who is on his own little tussle with the crab. The barnacle sets her sights on a crab, scouting for a soft spot to burrow into. Once inside, she crafts a cozy home that masquerades as a tumor, sending tendrils throughout the crab's body and slowly munching away at her host. Now here comes the bizarre part. After neutering her crab companion, the barnacle takes control, making that crab cater to her needs like a zombie butler. The barnacle even tricks the crab into caring for her like a loving parent, fussing over her, grooming her, and ensuring she gets plenty of fresh air. Nah, this is a parasite at its best. Don't even let the other guy move. And what if I tell you there is more because the barnacle isn't done yet? She drills a hole in the crab's shell and sends out invites to male crabs for a little rendezvous so her babies can have a cozy, well-cared-for home, of course. Wolves go through a similar puppet master action, and according to a 2022 study in communications biology, the strings are being pulled by none other than Toxoplasma gondii, a sneaky single-celled critter. This parasite causes a disease called toxoplasmosis that messes with the wolves' heads making them act like they've been hitting the gym hard, with testosterone levels through the roof. What? And that's not all. These wolves also throw caution to the wind, taking risks like they're starring in their own action movie. Who knew tiny single-celled organisms could have such a big impact on the big bad wolves of Yellowstone? These risky behaviors could actually influence the whole gang. Yup, that's right. Those infected wolves might just be leading their uninfected pals straight into the lion's den, or in this case, the cougar's territory. It's a wild, wild world out there in Yellowstone. But at least they haven't gotten frogs joining the zombie squad, you betcha. Turns out, for some frog species, a fungal infection can come with some surprising benefits, at least in the dating department. 
researchers discovered that male common mist fogs infected with Bacrocraturum dentonobatis, aka the frog fungus, were actually scoring big points with the ladies. These infected fellas were croaking up a storm, impressing potential mates way more than their uninfected counterparts. Call the police, we are dealing with some kings of flirting here. Another study, starring Japanese tree frogs, found similar results with the frog saying, Sure, I might be a fungal zombie, but hey, I've got charisma. Who knew being a frog zombie could actually up your dating game? Mother Nature sure has a quirky sense of humor. I mean, why else would they keep cicadas underground for 17 years? And what if I tell you it gets worse for them? Just as these cicadas make their grand entrance, a sinister fungus called Massaspora cicadinus swoops in for the attack, chomping away at the cicadas' abdomens and rear ends, leaving behind a not-so-appetizing clump of spores. The fungus takes control of their little insect brains, sending them into a wild sexual frenzy. And what's the point of this bizarre behavior? Spreading those fungal spores, of course. Who knew the cicadas had such a wild side? And talk about wild rides. Euphorochlorus californianesis, the crafty flatworm that's mastered the art of fishy mind control, is having one hell of a ride. These flatworms infiltrate the brains of California killfish, practically begging them to become a flying predator's next meal. It's like they've signed up for a one-way trip to the seafood buffet. And it doesn't end here. Once inside their unwavering fish hosts, they get down to business, setting up shop and popping out thousands of cysts like unwanted houseguests. And these parasitic intruders aren't content with just crashing on the couch. Oh no no, they mess with the fish's brain chemistry, tweaking its serotonin and dopamine levels to control every move. Folks, it's a reminder that in the game of survival, sometimes the scariest monsters come in the tiniest packages. I mean, just see parasitic worms acnocephalans who attack pill bugs, getting inside a bird's digestive tract to mature fully. It not only grows inside it, but also prompts the insect to make itself readily available as bird food. The worm forces the bug to expose itself in broad daylight. Instead of staying safely curled up under a rock or a stump, while also leading the bug to meander onto a lightly colored surface, where birds such as starlings can see it better. Then the mind-controlled insect waits to be eaten, and the parasite eventually makes its way to its preferred growing place. Wow! What on earth is going on in animals? My brain is cooked, but will I stop? Nah, because Invisible Monsters got so much content waiting for me. So, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe.